Good morning. She's putting on a brave face today. She's in a lot of pain. So, we were just talking about this uh, kidney stone and whether it's a new one or the same one because we never actually got confirmation that she passed it because it just stopped hurting at one point after you had gone to the bathroom and you just assumed that it went. So... I can feel, when it sits still, I don't have pain, but when it's moving, I can, it, it, it hurts. Yeah. I can actually feel it moving, and it's down low now, and you got to figure your, sorry if this is TMI for anybody, but you got to figure your urethra tube is real small, and to have any sort of solid solid object going through it has got to hurt and right now I feel like it's in my urethra tube because I feel like I could feel something moving in there and it hurts really bad and to top everything else off I got a migraine going on right now which I think is being caused from the fact that Kevin cut out all my caffeine so <laughs> From lack of caffeine, I think I'm having a migraine. Well, we gave her a little caffeine this morning. Hopefully that'll settle down. So, I'm feeling miserable, guys. So, um, so I'm just going to continue on the front room. Val's probably going to probably go lie down, and you're not going to see much of Val today. And you'll probably just see the back of my head and my butt for most of today. How's that? I'm sure you're excited. Kevin can come in and peek on, in on me throughout the day. Um, I'll, I'll throw stuff at her. <laughs> I'll poke her with a stick, see if she's still alive. I may color, I may watch some TV, I may sleep, I don't know. But right now, I'm just suffering. Um, a lot of you may say go to the doctors couple of reasons why we're not going to the doctors is one, we can't afford the copay right now. Two is there's really nothing they're going to do. They're just going to tell me I have to pass it. Um, yeah, and the medication they gave you last time. I had an allergic she reaction. She had an allergic reaction, so she can't take that. So I'm just going to have to pass it anyway. Even if I go to the doctors, this is what they're going to tell me to do is just get rest and drink plenty of fluids so mm. that's all I'm doing and unfortunately it's painful to do but you gotta do it alright so I put Val to bed got her plenty of fluids to drink put glee on the TV and uh, I'm gonna go run to uh, the hospital to pick up her pharmaceuticals and uh, after that, I want to go drop by Home Depot and Lowe's to take a look at um, uh, tile to fill in the gaps on the floor. Cheapest I can come up with. And to look at the, the, um, the um, banister. What kind of uh, banister parts they have. So I know Lowe's has banister parts. Uh, I want to see how inexpensive they are. Um, I'm going to see whether I should replace the whole banister or see if I can find replacement parts. Uh, I don't think I can. The banister is made out of maple and everything else in, in the front room is going to be oak. So I think it would be a good idea to replace it with oak. Uh, there's a Habitat for Humanity in Riverside. And I remember going there once with my mom just to have a look at what they have. And uh, they had banister parts there for next to nothing. It's probably from uh, uh, projects that were never finished or extra parts. So that's something I might look into this week as well. Okay, so I'm at Home Depot and I found the peel and press. And I can get it for $60 a square foot. So when I have some money, I need to just um, measure it up and figure out how much I need. It's not as thick as the tile that's in there, but I don't think that's a big deal. Um, I just need a nice smooth surface and 
so that it doesn't drop a whole eighth of an inch, which is what's going on right now. Go over to Lowe's as well and see if they have anything cheaper. I don't care what it looks like, it's gonna get covered. So, so I'm at Lowe's Hardware now, and uh, this is the rail baluster system that they have here, which I like, and it's easy to do. However, my staircase is not built like this. You can see the balusters go right down to the, the step. You just have to drill a hole in the step. And um, it's designed to simply attach to the rail handrail which is pretty cool you just uh, put these things together but uh, and the iron balusters are cool I have no problems with doing that however my system has a bottom rail so that the uh, handrail and then there's a bottom rail that it attaches to because the stair steps don't go all the way out at the bottom so I'm still not sure what I'm going to do. Uh, this has a, what's called a wall rail. I'm assuming that's just to attach it to the wall so that you have something to hold on to where there isn't any uh, banister. And they don't have oak balusters. They only have uh, iron and pink grade. So, and again, I don't care at this point. All right, so, so my next step is to uh, fill all the blemishes at the wall. I've got quite a few. This particular wall I probably shouldn't be doing, but I, w I still want to fill in all the pretty bad gaps in it. Fill holes like this one. And uh, the edges I need to deal with as well because they're, I took the crown off so I have a, a lumpy edge. So what I'm using, I have just some all-purpose um, drywall compound or joint compound, about a half hour uh, pot life, and I'm using a five inch knife. I like the plastic when doing these kind of applications, and uh, hopefully I won't break it. So that's what I'm doing next. Alright guys, so I ran out of uh, sunlight and uh, I didn't finish what I wanted to get finished, but it's coming out pretty nice. Got a nice uh, clean corner now. So tomorrow I will finish plastering on this side. Looks like I still need to scrape up above. And uh, I will sand what I uh, plastered here. And then I'll have to wait for it to dry and then I'll have to sand the rest of it and it's ready for paint. So it's getting late. Let's see how Val is doing. Hey guys. We finished watching Glee yet? I'm on the last episode. <laughs> um, doing some coloring right now. I've been sleeping most of the day. So, keeping all the animals company, I see. Well, they're keeping me company. <laughs> so, my sinuses have just died 
I know, I can tell. I don't know why. It's your fault. You bit my nose and now it doesn't work. That's your brand new shirt and you got stuff on it already. It's just it's just plaster. It washes right off. It washes right off. So much for me going through and putting a drawer of work shirts for you. <sighs> yeah. All my clothes are work clothes. No, because then you have nothing nice to wear out. I don't have a nice t-shirt to wear out. No, you don't, <laughs> because they all got plaster on them. All right. Coloring a pretty picture. Very nice. <clears throat> and obviously, we're not going to get to shout outs tonight, but we will do them tomorrow. All right, you want to do your closing thing? You want me to close it out? Yeah, might okay, as well. Okay, guys, we're coming to the end of another evening. I hope you enjoyed a little bit of something that you saw in our video today. I have no idea what was filmed. <laughs> anyway, if you did like a little bit of something, please give us a like, a share, a comment, or a favorite, and we shall see you all tomorrow. Ta-ta for now. Bye. Bye. Say bye, Boomer. Bye, Boomer. <laughs>